Now is the time for you to start doing good and repent for the bad in the past. Oh, Shalom, I was just studying some Talmud. In this month, Elul, we need to get a great head start on a brand new year. Also, the shofar is blown every day leading up to Rosh Hashanah. So make sure to put your listening ears on and hear that shofar blow. Gather up your challah so you're ready to throw your sins away. But make sure not to add any extra thirst during this month of Elul. So, coming into the new year, it is crucial that you step out of your comfort zone. You reach out to a friend you're not so familiar with, or give a sweet compliment to a peer. By doing these simple needs boat, you can make someone's day. This will bring lots of happiness and success to 5781. On Rosh Hashanah, we enjoy the sweetness of eating apples and honey. Really? Why do we have apples and honey on Rosh Hashanah? Well, we eat apples and honey to represent our goal of having a sweet and healthy new year. Wow! I hope everyone at Barrett has a very sweet new year. Yup! And if you follow all the steps, you will have the sweetest new year. But most importantly, make sure you get a head start on a good new year and listen to the show far every day in Elul.